Okay, now that you have created your uh, profile in the PD registry, we're gonna go in and we're going to look at all the tabs and kind of do a quick navigation of what you can find on your PD registry account. So from the first thing you're gonna do is if you don't have this bookmarked, this site here, um, you're gonna search papdregistry.org and that should take you to this page here. Up here in the right-hand corner, you're going to click the login. You're going to put in your email address and your password, and you're going to log back into the account that you've already created. Now, you're going to see my account, which is probably going to have more things than you're going to see to start, but I'm going to explain that to you as we go. Um, you should also know that between the hours of like 12 and 3, this website can be very slow because typically early childhood directors and staff are taking a lunch break and that's when this gets used a lot. And this is used across the state as well, okay? So when you first log in, you're gonna see some of these tabs. You're not gonna see them all. Um, financial assistance really probably won't show up until you complete a profile um, and apply for your career pathway. You, won't, you probably won't see the instructor tab, but let's look at the first page. So this is your summary page. This has your PD registry number, which is important. That identifies you in the system. Down here, if this was available, you would be able to renew your career pathway, or it might say apply for your career pathway. And we'll do that in another video. If you're PQAS certified, you, I would reapply for my PQAS certification and my director credential here. Okay, um, but you're, you shouldn't really have to pay for anything on this page. When you go to personal, that's all about you. Again, your ID number and your personal information. If you wanna change anything, you just click edit personal. If your email changes, um, you're gonna to wanna to go in and change that in the PD registry, okay? So this is your personal page. When you get to education, here is where you're going to, and we're gonna concentrate on this. You're going to um, put as much information as you can um, because the PD registry is not gonna recognize your career level without that. So you are going to wanna put in your high school diploma. And to do anything on this page, you're gonna hit edit education. And that's gonna give you options. Sorry, I know it's slow. So when you log in here, it's going to ask you, you know, what type of information you're going to add. So it'll have an add new, just like you see add new here. It'll say add new and you'll get a drop down. You can click transcripts, you can click diploma, whatever pops up. Click on that and then another box will pop up for you to upload your document. If you have a CDA credential, um, you're going to want to upload the original credential that was given to you by the CDA council. Okay, they don't wanna see a copy there. Any education, this is important. If you have college um, work that you've completed, this is only if you have a degree. In here, you're going to add, and it's gonna ask you what you're going to add. When you add your diploma, you also need to add your transcripts. They cannot tell your career level without transcripts. If you're uploading transcripts that you've printed from offline through the college, that's fine. But if the transcript doesn't have your name and the college institution, it's not going to count. So if you have official, that's great. If it's unofficial, just make sure that information is included on the paperwork before you upload it. If you're a certified teacher, you can add information here. Your director credential, if you've completed that, can be added here. Now, first aid, CPR, and fire safety. If you took those trainings through the PD registry, specifically fire safety is free if you do it through the registry here, that's going to show up on your transcript. So you don't need to upload anything here. If you took pediatric first aid and CPR by somebody who's PQAS certified, which is kind of required now, that's going to show up on your transcript too. Um, if you're not sure, you can go ahead and upload your most recent pediatric first aid and CPR card. If you're currently enrolled in college, this is where you want to add some transcripts. Because even though you don't have the degree yet, they will count up how many 
ECE or EDU credits that you have, and that can bump you up the level for your career pathway, which I know is confusing now. I'll explain that later. Okay. And then at the bottom here, any other professional development you've taken outside of the PD registry. So darkness to light is a training that's required by the YMCA. You can upload that certificate here. Unfortunately, the PD um, registry who is connected to um, the stars, Keystone stars, they won't count those hours of experience um, towards your training, your 12 hours annually. However, the licensing reps that come out and um, conduct a license review of your facility, they will count those hours, okay? So it's great to have it here so it's all neat and tidy in your own PD registry. So when you're done adding your education, you're just gonna click finished. And then I'm just gonna take you through the rest of the menus quickly, um, and then you'll move on to the next video for the next thing that you have to, the next task that you have to complete. So back to your professional profile page. Sorry, it is during nap time typically, so it's gonna be a little slower. Okay, so back to your personal profile page. Employment, there is a video that you can view on how to add employment here. Um, and you'll find that video over here in this left-hand menu. Right here, it says video library, okay? My PD, if I sign up for any trainings, especially if they're online, like fire safety, I did fire safety training. When I signed up for it, I came to my PD tab right here, I scroll down and there is the training waiting for me. All I have to do is click on that little hat and I can start my training, okay? So trainings that you sign up for will be found under the My PD tab. Professional would be any professional memberships. Your site may have a membership with CCPN or PACA. So if you have that, you're gonna wanna upload this here. You're probably not gonna have an instructor page. You will have a PD self-assessment tab um, and we're gonna talk about that in another video. Financial assistance, if you wanna apply for TEACH funding, this will eventually show up once you've applied for your career pathway and here's where you would go to apply for financial aid. And this last tab, the reports tab, this is important because if you look, you can click on a learning report. You could click on this My Professional Development Learning Record and you will be able to see all the training that you've taken that's listed in your registry here. This is great for your directors, especially when they're trying to show that you did complete 12 hours over the course of a year. You could just print up this, uh, this record here. It's a great way to also verify whether you have completed fire safety and pediatric first aid. So just to take a quick peek, and mine's going to be extensive because it's been a long time, uh, but you'll kind of get the idea when you view this, what you'll say. Okay, so when you look at this, you'll see um, employment and so you, whatever employment you picked, whatever site you picked is going to show up here. Um, you're going to see your education should be on here, all your CPR and your pediatric first aid and CPR, if it was done by a PQAS instructor, which it needs to be, um, that's going to show up here. So when the state comes, they can see that I'm good until 2025. And the same goes for fire safety training. So here it is fire safety training, well, that was 21. But if you scroll down, you can see the latest fire safety was 2024. Um, and then this would be all the training that you've taken in your lifetime on the PD registry. And this is great because it goes right into your file and it's proof that you completed a lot of these trainings. So that's important to have. Okay, so let's get out of this. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so back to this area here. There's also, you'll be able to print your professional development plan, which we're gonna do in a different video. Um, so I'll explain the rest of these later, but your professional development learning record's important. Over on the left-hand side, this top, um, 
part of the menu, this top option will always bring you back to this profile page. But there's also other things on the left-hand side. You, uh, training entry would be for trainers that are putting trainings in. My e-learning is if you're taking an online course um, in a different modality than Better Kid Care. Invoices is different. This video library is important. If you click on the video library, and this is where you're gonna go for your next video. Um, the next task you have is adding employment. The video library has videos to show you that. So there's no sense recreating that. So if you look at adding employment, you're just gonna click on that and you're gonna do your next task. When you get to applying for your career pathway, you're gonna go down here and take that, okay? So you'll see that in the information that you've been given by your supervisor. You'll see a video later on on how to do a professional development plan and how to search training events. If you ever have a question, you're going to hit the contact us tab and you're going to contact the PA keys to get answers to your questions. Okay. So I hope you found this useful and remember your next task will be to put in your employment. So you're going to go to the video library on the left-hand side to get that information. Okay. So until the next video, take care.